Did you know? Know what? That Zane promised Samantha she was the next name partner. Alex, let's go back up to my office. Sounds like you could use a drink. What I could use is some goddamn honesty. Did you know? Yeah, I knew. Then why the hell didn't you tell me? Because no one's deciding anything right now, and I didn't want to upset you for no reason. No reason. Zane promised his right I hand. know what he promised. But look, you got me and you got Lewis. That's two against one. When the time's right, we'll outvote him. And when exactly is the time going to be right? Six months? A year? Three years? Alex. No, Harvey. I want to know when you're planning on getting the balls to stand up to that man and what exactly I'm supposed to do in the meantime. I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to have faith and sit tight. And if you were in my position, would you sit tight? It may not be easy, but yeah, I would. That's funny, because I recall you were in a similar position years ago with Jessica, and instead of sitting tight, you came to me looking for another job. Alex, you were right. If I were in your shoes, sitting tight wouldn't fly with me either. I thought about it, and I got an idea. Well, if it isn't you and Lewis telling Zane my number's up next, I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. What it is, is you doing something to put you on the map with Zane. Packs in bioscience. They're big, they're juicy, and we got a meeting with them in a half an hour. We? Yeah, we. Then forget it. Because if I don't sign them alone, Robert's not gonna care. Alex, I'm doing the best I can right now. They're expecting me. I don't show up, it's not gonna look right. You got an answer for everything, don't you? Let's just go down there and lock these guys down. After that, you have my word. You're the attorney of record. Cryogen. They're worth 80 million, but they're sitting on billions of undeveloped IP. I've been trying to buy them for two years. Let me guess. You've used every tactic in the book to force them to sell. Now you're looking to try some that aren't in the book. Let's just say that of the 15 companies that specialize in financing that industry, 14 have suddenly found themselves out of the cryogen business. And isn't it the strangest coincidence that the 15th just so happens to be one of our clients? The board works in mysterious ways. Just to be clear, are you asking us to pressure one of our clients into cutting off this company's lifeline? Because that would be against the law. I'm not asking you to do anything. But were that to happen, you'd suddenly find yourself with a huge new client. I say that sounds pretty interesting. And I say bullshit is not going to happen. Well, it better because that's what it's going to take to get our business. Alex, why don't we listen to what no, she Harvey, has? No, Harvey, I'm not looking across the line for these guys. I don't care if they tell me they'll guarantee a year's retainer in advance. And what if I told you that retainer would match her highest billing client? Look, I think it's a mistake, but if we're going to do this, we need to know what we're getting involved in. He's right. You want us to risk this? We need to know every source of funding you choked off from these guys and every other shady thing you've done, because like he said, I need to know exactly what I'm getting myself involved in. Then we'll have everything over to you by the end of the day. Seriously, Harvey, we're using information they gave us in the context of a meeting. That's a little shady itself. You sure you're okay with it? I am. Besides, what are they going to do? Tell the police they asked us to rob a bank, and by the time they got there, we moved all the money? Then the only thing left to do is close quite at you. All right. I'll set it up. No. You needed to be at that last meeting. You don't need to be at this one. Alex. Harvey, let's not forget why you came to me with this. Let me bring this one home. All right. They're all yours. I'm saying drop the small potato and sign Paxson, like you said you would in the first place. You want to talk bad faith? We went in there, and they all but asked us to commit a crime. Then don't sign them. But what you don't do is go using the information that you got from them to sign a guy that they were going after. And last time I checked, I can sign whoever the hell I want to sign. Harvey, I cut you some slack on that landlord thing. But I'm running this firm, not you. You're going to do what I tell you to do. You're going to tell me what suit to wear, too? Listen to me. Tomorrow morning, I come in, Paxson's our client, and I'm done discussing this topic. Harvey, maybe it isn't worth it. Relax. He'll calm down once he realizes that small potato is not so small. Are you crazy? This is about chain of command, and the only reason we signed those guys in the first place was to impress him. And you were the one who wanted me to have the balls to stand up to him. Well, I don't give a sh what the chain of command is, there's no way I'm backing down now. Harvey, I told you, it's not like these guys are saints. What they have me do to this guy? Alex, that's enough. I'm not interested in you second guessing me, and I'm sure shit not interested in you doing it on Zane's behalf. So, you wanna have a drink and celebrate signing a new client or not? Robert, what are you doing here? I'm here because it's tomorrow morning and you didn't sign Paxson yet. Look, Robert, as far as I'm concerned, this is between you and Harvey. Well, I'm making it between you and me. What are you saying? I'm saying you're a smart guy. And we both know what your end game is at this firm. If you want that game to be a reality, you'll do what I need you to do. 
Are you threatening my job? I'm telling you how it is. You dealt with that client in bad faith, and I'm doing you a courtesy by dealing with you in good faith. It sure doesn't feel like it. I didn't say I was giving you kid gloves. I said I was playing you straight. The truth is, I like you. Always have. But if you don't get yourself on the right of this thing, you're never gonna go further than you are right now. Robert, drop him! I don't wanna hear another goddamn thing about it. First thing this morning, Zane tells me unless I sign Paxson, my name's never going up on that wall. What? Have you told Harvey about this? What good would it do? Harvey's the one who put me in this goddamn situation. Wait, hang on a second. I thought you were on board with going after Credigen. I don't give a shit what I was on board with. When Zane didn't want to do it, I was ready to back off. Then back off. And I do that, I might as well kiss my chances at name partner goodbye. Alex, I don't think you're giving Harvey enough credit. He said, and I quote, I'm sure I should not interested in you second guessing me on Robert Zane's behalf. Good. What do you mean good? I mean, you're in a Kobayashi Maru. What the hell does sushi have to do with this? It's not sushi. It's from Star Trek, and Harvey's been talking about it for 100 years. I always thought it was bullshit, but maybe it's not. What do you mean? I mean, sooner or later, everyone finds themselves walled into a no-win situation. This one's yours. And the way to prove yourself to both Harvey and Zane is to find a way out anyway. Well, thanks, Donna. And here I thought going to Harvard was the way to get ahead, when really I should have just been watching old Star Treks. Well, I didn't. So unless the answer's in an episode of Cagney and Lacey... You know what, Alex? I'm trying to help you. And I told you, I'm not in a goddamn mood. Okay, then let me put it another way. Unless you think you can get your name on the wall someplace else, I suggest you stop worrying about the problem and start worrying about the solution. Because if you can't find a way to get yourself out of this situation, maybe you don't deserve to be name partner after all. Hang up the phone right the hell now. Don't walk into my office and tell me that. So I can't walk in here, but you can walk into my guy's office and threaten his career? I didn't threaten his career. I just told him like it was. That's not your call. Bullshit, it's not. I gave you an order, and if you're not gonna follow it, I'm going to the next man down. And if he doesn't listen to me, he's never getting my vote. So he's gotta listen to you, but he doesn't have to listen to me. What the hell do you think managing partner means? Well, if this is what it means, then maybe I made a bad call in being gracious and letting you have it. You weren't being gracious. You were recognizing reality, which is that I'm better at this than you. And what you're better at is doing whatever you feel like doing at any goddamn minute. Well, what I feel like saying right now is, Alex is my guy, he does what I say, and that's final. Well, that's too bad, because I didn't do what either one of you said, and it's too late to take it back. I don't believe this. Are you saying you took another job? No, I'm saying I got someone else to take another job. What the hell are you talking about? Cryogen wanted me to trick their biggest asset into a lifetime of servitude. Instead, I informed him of his right to go out on his own and signed him as our newest client. Are you out of your mind? I told you to sign Paxson. And the reason you gave both of us was that you didn't want us dealing with them in bad faith. Well, now we didn't. All we did was take a meeting and not sign them. And you still didn't do what I asked. You didn't do what I asked either. You're right, I didn't. Because if all you want is a yes man, then what the hell am I doing here? You listen to me. No, you listen to me. I signed a client that's gonna be worth a huge amount to this firm. I'm a hell of a goddamn lawyer. And if you can't see that, then I don't want to have my name next to yours. Alex. No, I said what I had to say. As far as I'm concerned, you two need to work your shit out. Kobayashi Maru. Yeah. Yeah, well, you got yourself out pretty damn well. And I'm not the only one who thinks so. Zane was pretty impressed, too. And I guess I got the job done. And maybe I should have watched a little Star Trek growing up after all. What? How could you never watch Star Trek? Because it's a stupid show with shitty effects. You realize I love that show, right? I don't care how you feel about it. It's a stupid show with shitty effects. You know what, Alex? You may be a hell of a lawyer, but if you can't appreciate the original Star Trek, you're nothing, because Captain Kirk is the best television character ever created. I've got two words for you, motherfucker. Magnum P.I. Those are fighting words, you know that, right? They're not fighting words, Harvey. They're drinking words. So sit on down, and let's hash this out like two people who can both appreciate MASH. Sounds good to me.